So Anna, welcome to Dallas. Thank you. So it's an unusual role to prepare for because you're a therapist, a psychotherapist, but you're a neophyte, you don't know a lot about it. So were you afraid about learning too much about doing that? Um, no, I, I knew that I wouldn't have time to learn too much, so I wasn't worried about that. But I did meet with a therapist uh, who is a, a young woman and, and does um, work that's you know similar to what Catherine does in the movie. And, she um, she actually talked to me about what it was like for her starting out, and you know what she was nervous about, what um, the you know the mistakes that she thought she made, and so we sort of put all that into Catherine because Catherine's making so many mistakes. Does she really play new age music? And... No, she doesn't. Okay. No, I mean there was yeah, there was some stuff that just was uh, was Will's was Will's invention. Nice touch. So, did the character you play, uh, Catherine, did she have a real life counterpart? No, not, I mean, not really. Will did see a therapist, but she was 65, and, um, uh, you know, they, they didn't have a relationship. So, um, sure. yeah, Catherine's one of the fictional characters, but that was great because it sort of meant that I got to build her from the ground up. So, what's Jonathan Levine like? Jonathan's really cool, really relaxed. Um, he, he created a really relaxed set, and he was really collaborative, so... Um, you know, I think he, I always sort of say he's like he tricked everybody into giving their best performance because, um, you know, he just makes everybody feel like they're doing great and, you know, um, he, that you're making his job really easy. So, uh, you know, I think that just makes everyone more open and more, um, receptive to each other. And, um, you know, he, he's a sort of a, he's like a Jedi, Jedi master sort of. Um, you know, it seems like he's not doing that much, but then you realize you've been sort of subtly manipulated. Mm -hmm. So did you buddy up with anybody on set in particular? Uh, um, well, I mean, I spent the most time shooting with Joe, but I actually, this is the second movie that I've been in with Bryce Dallas Howard where we don't have any scenes together. <laughs> so um, I, I really wanted, this time was the only time I even got to meet her, and I was really excited about meeting her, so we had like a cast dinner, um, at the end of the shoot, and I, you know, sort of attacked her. I, you know, sort of um, stuck by her side all night and, and got to know her, and I think she's, you know, absolutely adorable and wonderful. So even though we don't have any scenes together, I, I totally fell in love with Bryce Dallas Howard. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good chemistry with him on set? I think so, you know, I, I, I hope so. Uh, you know, Joe mentioned to me, <laughs> as it was my first kind of romantic role, um, you know, it helps when you at least get along with the other person, mm -hmm. um, and I hadn't really even thought about that, you know, I just sort of had taken that for granted, so it was really nice, um, you know, that he and I got along, you know, um, he's a great guy, he's, you know, obviously he's a handsome guy, so, you know, that that was an added bonus, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he uh, he just really helped me out with with all that kind of stuff, because it was my first time doing any kind of flirtation on screen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in, in your opinion, why should people get out to see this movie, 50-50? Um, you know, I think it's funny, I think it's so funny, and I I, I was really nervous about doing a, a comedy about cancer, because that seems really strange, um, but, you know, I think it's just, it's so honest, and, you know, knowing that it's coming from someone's real story, I think, you know, it just helps you, um, you know, realize that this is just one man's experience and this is just, you know, what he took out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Thanks very much. All right. Okay.